I'm really bad at doing curves with overlocking. Jesus. I think I just said Jesus. Kind of want to draw Jesus now. And I'm sorry I did that. That's for me. It's finally autumn. Actually, it's gonna be 30 degrees today and most of the trees don't change color here anyway. Ugh, gross. So autumn doesn't really apply in Australia, but I can still pretend and I'm gonna pretend by recreating this outfit. This outfit has been in my Pinterest for months. It has been living rent-free in my brains. I keep thinking that I have actually already made it. Actually, that's how I feel. I will get dressed, I will pull out a shirt and go, oh, I should wear that vest with it. I don't have that vest. I never made the vest. This week, we are making the vest. So let's break down the look. Beret. I'm not gonna go out and buy a new beret. Beret? Beret. I'm not gonna go out and buy a new hat specifically for this. I have a beret. I have a white shirt. I'm just gonna wear the one I have because we're not gonna be wasteful and buy things that we don't actually need. The vest. I have this skirt that I picked up from a thrift shop in Japan, and as soon as I saw it, I thought, this is going to make that vest. I know it's not brown, it's more of a gray, but I feel like it's in the same wheelhouse, so it's fine. I don't even own a single short skirt, so it's about time that I made one. So we're also going to make the skirt. For the skirt, I'm gonna go shopping because I have a $30 voucher to my favorite fabric shop because I filled out a survey for them and I would love to not have to spend any money on this project. Also in her look, she wears Mary Janes. Mary Janes just aren't my thing. So I'm gonna be styling it with, yeah. For the vest, I picked up this pattern and we're going to make a very quick little mock-up. This one kind of finishes at the waist and based on our reference image, I'm gonna to attempt to extend it a little bit. For the skirt, my plan is to do a quarter circle skirt split on the side, but we are adding pockets to this. I feel like I can just figure that out with pattern drafting-ish, right? Oh, I do love this dress. Do you wanna see a full length shot of my dress? Too bad I'm showing you. Okay, now that we've done that very important thing, let's go shopping. So this is the fabric store in Fitzroy and it is my favourite shop hands down. They sell designer dead stock fabric as well as high quality natural fibres. Oh, no colours, no colours. Look at black fabrics. Very nice, thank you. So like I said, they sell dead stock fabric. I like this one, but it's a little pricey. 98% wool, $42. For example, this fabric came from a local ethical designer label that has recently closed down. Sad. So the quality level is just so much better than what you will find in the big box stores. Thank you. Have a good day. Whoops. Well, okay, so I like I like a good quality fabric. Um, so I picked the most expensive one that was available. Uh, it was $42 a meter, but I had the voucher, so it only cost me $12. So, well, I was already spending money, so. So this is the moment that I realized that I have to cut out all of the pieces, and this is the moment I realized that I hadn't turned the camera off of slow mode. Mara, come back! I had the door open and there was this weird underwater vibe. I need to figure out what size I am. Waist 26 and a half, yes. So I am size 12. I was gonna do that, no, size. We need to trace. This is supposed to be tracing paper. Here's our pattern underneath. Can you see it? Cause I can't. All right, I think that this is a no-go. Oops, oh no, it's getting tangled. I'm just gonna have to cut this out and then trace around it. Hello, few things. Number one, it's too dang hot. I have put the air conditioning on, so apologies. Even with the windsock, you are going to hear the air conditioning, but I'm sorry, I was getting very sweaty. Second thing, I should really turn that music off. It's loud and distracting. Have a look at the pattern pieces that we've got so far. We've got back, front, tie end, which I guess is the tie at the back. Look at this, excuse me, welt, welt. This is not a pocket, this is a fake pocket. This is a pretend pocket. This pattern is feeding into the bull that women's clothes don't have pockets. I am going to check my tailoring book and see how difficult it would be to put a pocket in this because what's the point of the fake pocket? I just, mm. uh, also I'm pretty sure a welt pocket is really difficult to do. I've never done one before. There's a lot of steps. So let's have a look at the tailoring book and then probably decide that it's gonna be too much work. Hmm. Hmm. It is a couture technique. That's probably not good. Oh God, there's pages of it. So on our reference image here, 
Unfortunately, she has a double welt pocket. And unfortunately, a double welt pocket sounds really difficult to do. I didn't honestly take a lot of it in. It's a lot of words, but the main word that I read was precise and exactly. Seeing as it includes this, we're gonna do a single welt one. For now, I'm gonna figure out how much I wanna extend this by. It says the waistline is there which is, as you can see, way below my waistline. I think I'm only going to extend this by one and a half centimeters. We'll do the mock-up and we'll see how that looks, okay? Break. Also, I wanted to look pretty today and so I put mascara on, but it's really affecting my eyes and they've actually been stinging all afternoon, which makes me feel like I'm more tired than I actually am. So I'm going to go and take that off. Apologies, if you can even see it on the camera, I won't look as pretty. I don't know how people wear it every day. This is probably why people use eye eyelash extensions. I nearly said this is probably why people use eye extensions. <sighs> Sorry, maybe I am tired as well. By the way, I know you're supposed to use these with carbon paper and a self-healing mat, but I don't have those. What I do have is a table I don't care about. If I was just going to use this, I didn't need to cut the pattern piece out, did I? So yeah, I used this stabby rolly thing to trace the lines of the pattern. Then I just joined them up on the pattern paper with a pencil. Also, I should tell you that at this point I got a little bit distracted because Tom had come downstairs and told me that we had just been approved for a new rental property and that we were moving in less than three weeks. Okay, I sewed some of these the wrong way, but it's fine. It's just a mock-up. Don't worry about it. So yeah, I was suddenly very overwhelmed by how much packing we had to do. But what I have done is I've sewn all along the edge here, which is where the lining would be attached. And so what I'm going to do is fold it over so that it will give the illusion of what actual size it would be if it had a lining attached. As you can see, right out of the gate, there's a few fit issues here. Basically, the pattern has too much ease and the bust is at least a size too big and the hips are too tight. I bought the back vent up in my waist and marked the waist on the side seams for the adjustments and the pocket placement. So we bring this in a little bit tighter here and let this out a little bit. I also marked my bust points because the darts finished too high. God, it's so boxy. I increased the size of the arm side to accommodate larger sleeves and I also adjusted the top of the center back seam to have more of a curve so it didn't gape at the neck. Oh, okay, cool. All right. So this side I have made adjustments to, this side I have not. It looks cuter. It's sitting a little bit better, I think. Yes. Okay. I'm actually not 100% sure how I'm supposed to transfer this to the pattern. Um, so, I don't know. How do I do this? How do I do this? Where's the pencil? Uh, uh, go straight. All right, new plan. That's not, that's not working. Where's a pen? I want a pen. Why am I always hiding my pens from me? No, stay. I extended this by a centimeter and a half and now I am reducing it by a centimeter and a half. I did want to change the bust darts. I am going to lower them a tiny bit just because I don't like it ending right at the nips. Am I allowed to say nips on the internet? I don't want them to end right at the guns. Okay, so two things. Wait, was it two things? Okay, ignore what I am trying to say in this clip. Basically, I just really struggled with how I could alter the darts because it created excess fabric. If I made the dart shorter, it was a whole mess. Ignore what I'm doing. It was bad. Okay, I have no idea why, but I thought it would be a good idea to cut off all of the seam allowances and then add them back afterwards. Oh, I cut off the shoulder notches. Ugh, I needed those. Oh, this is feeling like a hot mess. This is feeling like a bad idea. In the end, I landed on making two pattern pieces, one with a shortened dart and one without so that I could compare them. So when I compared the two pattern pieces, it was apparent that by attempting to shorten the dart, I had in fact made the bust even bigger, which we will remember is the opposite of what I wanted to do. So I just left the darts as they were and moved on to transferring the changes from the back piece to a new pattern. Aww. Damn it. It's okay, we didn't rip the pattern. We're all good. Okay, I am much happier with this fit. I like the dart being just outside of the point and the arm's eye is a lot better now. I am going to cut it out in the real fabric now and I need to find a lining. Oh, wow, I'm really bad at planning these things. Whoops, I forgot that the fabric that I'm cutting it out of is still in the form of a circle skirt. So I'm really not good at styling outfits. That's why I like dresses. Putting together all the clothes is always the problem for me. Like I'll buy individual items and then they won't fit with anything else in my wardrobe. So I really like the idea of recreating an entire look that I've seen work on someone and seeing if I could make it work for me. 
So normally when you make a vest like this, I think you would use something like a satin as a lining so that it can slip on easily over a shirt. I don't have any satin, I don't have anything similar to satin. What I do have is a little bit of a black cotton voile. So I'm hoping that this is soft enough to use as a lining. What on earth was I making with this last time? Perfect. This is why you keep scraps of everything. Mmm, storms are brewing. Okay, all the pieces are cut out. I have attached the fusible interfacing. I have walked off. I think I have bugs on me. I have taken a quick look at the instructions. So I'm gonna get started with sewing the darts in place and then I think I am going to have to call it a night because I need to get started with dinner. And now I also need to go pick up moving boxes and start packing. So it's the best. I swear to God, I think there's bugs on me. Are there bugs? I think I have all of these the right way around. Yeah, I really do think that it's about time we got a new iron. Maybe one of those automatically turning off ones. Sleeves. Well, I'm not making sleeves. It sounds like I'm making sleeves. I'm not making sleeves. I'm wearing sleeves because it's only gonna be a top of 17 degrees today. We're finally in autumn. It's happening, guys. I have socks on. Good news all around. So, so, so. I feel like I had, oh, right, yes. Good morning, welcome to day three. We have all of our pieces. They have darts, they have been pressed. Okay, let's go. Let's no, no more dilly dallying. Stop talking, let's go. Talking to me, I need to stop talking. I didn't even check if I was recording audio. I was, oh, thank God, because I can't do that again with the same energy. So I've been trying to work on my resting frown face and I think I'm frowning less, but now I'm doing this weird smile instead and I don't know which is worse. Not this smile, this smile's fine. Look, it's sort of looking like a vest. Now it doesn't say to do this on the instructions, but I am just going to stay stitch around these curved lines along the edges. Aziz, light! Oh, the sun's come out. After the stay stitching, I got started on sewing the welts and the ties, trimming down the bulk and turning those out the right way with the help of this handy point turner. Or in the case of the ties, struggling to turn them out the right way, and I mean struggling significantly. Haha, <sighs> 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 yes. We have rain. It is time to attempt pockets. I have tried to measure as exactly as I can for where the pocket placement will be to try and match it to. Why am I filming my phone? And that will be our little pocket there. So it's gonna be a very small pocket, but we are gonna to attempt to do it because I would like to be able to put a coin in there if I want, if I so choose. Okay, so here goes. I'm gonna to try to attempt to explain this. I measured it very precisely from the dart and then made a pocket as large as I could for the space that was there. I cut out four pocket linings and I attached the facings and then did a straight stitch at the top and a zigzag stitch at the bottom. Really quickly, I would like you to know that I would love to be able to explain this pocket process, but it is taking everything I have to try to understand this. And now we're about to potentially cut into it and maybe ruin it. Worst case scenario, I guess we cover it up with just the fake welt and then we move on and never speak about it again. But I am going to attempt to put the pocket together and I'm sorry if it makes no sense to you because it makes no sense to me. Okay, so I think I'm gonna have to agree with past Ash here of, um, I actually don't know how to explain this because there's too many things and there's too many, like now I'm cutting something. Okay, we do a triangle. I remember that there's a triangle there and the triangle kind of folds out. Everything kind of folds in. Um, maybe I'll just let you watch because no, I still can't explain it. They almost look like pockets. and that will go over the top. I know this is a lot of effort for such tiny pockets, but it's the principle of the thing. Oh, I just remembered there was a lot of sewing over existing lines because those were guides. Although I suppose that doesn't really help you now because I didn't explain any of the other parts of the pocket construction. Well, here we are finishing the pocket, so that's pretty neat. 
So all I had to do to finish the pockets was hand stitch the sides of the welts in place and I was done. I did pockets. Look at them, they're real pockets. Unlike the pattern. Ha ha. Oh, oh. I did not think I was going to be able to do that, to be honest. I really thought we were going to give up partway through. It was very exciting. I'm so happy that I have real pockets on it. That being said, we are now really behind because it took me almost the entire day to do those. So let's go. We got, we got so much to do. Let's go. Let's go. Pockets. Half mouth. Are you playing? What you jumping for? Oh, 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 oh. You have a lot of energy. Do you need a walk? Okay, let's go for a walk. Good boy. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Good boy. By the way, I know I sound annoying when I talk to my dog, but he's just so cute and I'm so excited that he still has so much energy, so I had to include it. Also, don't put these ties on the back of the vest if you end up making this one, because it does leave a knot at the small of your back that's quite uncomfortable. So apparently I am going to sew all the way from here, 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 and then to there. Leave this part open and then also stitch all of the armholes and the bottom, which is probably the part I'm most concerned about because of this bit here. Okay, so I'm gonna sew that and then I am probably going to call it a night again because I didn't go get moving boxes yesterday uh, and Thomas has now gone to go get them and we really need to start packing because we're moving in two weeks. We have so much to pack. All right, see you tomorrow. No, nope, don't focus on him, focus on me. <laughs> okay. So as you may be able to tell from behind me, we have started packing. We are on such a time crunch. And also I apologize for the fact that I very short-sightedly put on both the washing machine and the dishwasher this morning. So you'll hear a lot of swooshing around. The good news is though, that the place that we're moving to will have a dedicated room for me to be filming in. And so we won't have to worry about those noises. Yay. So last night I didn't actually get the stitching on the vest that I wanted done. So we're gonna finish that up this morning and then hopefully turn it around the right way and go, oh, that worked. All right, this is the one I am most worried about. This is the back section with this little vent and I need to like sew right up to the point on both sides to try and get them to line up. I'm not good at that type of thing. All right, let's go and try and be exact. Let's go one more. No, I missed it. I missed it by like a stitch. So awkward. Okay, well, it still doesn't really look like a vest, but let's press it and, and see what we're working with. Looking so much better. Look at these, got little points. Oh, now it is pin these side seams together, stitch as far as we can, slip stitch, and then it's just buttons. Oh, so good, so good. Alfie, isn't it good? Isn't it good? Good job. Also, I need to figure out how to get these orange bits off. I don't know, we'll try. We'll try to sew this. It's so awkward. So if I might hazard a guess, if you are still watching this video at 18 minutes in, then that means you probably don't hate the video. You might even go as far as to say you like the video. You see where I'm going with this. Any interactions with the video, likes, shares, comments, really help me out with the algorithm and it shows my video to more people who might also not hate it. Okay, so I found my jar of buttons, but they're all like white. Except for that one, that one's red. Also have these cookie buttons that I got in Japan. So uh, I'm gonna let Instagram decide. Yes, I am very indecisive. So I made an Instagram poll and we will check back on the results of that tomorrow. So let's start the skirt. I found my pattern pieces, the waistband, and this is the top part of the skirt that I did for when I was making an outfit for my friend's wedding. <laughs> And I remembered that something went wrong with the waistband lining up to the skirt and I couldn't remember which way it was. So I just checked my own video. It didn't line up with the skirt. The waistband fits and the skirt's a little too big. But like if I line them up where there's an overlap, it looks like they match up. And we need to make pocket parts on here and then have a pocket section behind that. So let's make some new pattern pieces because these ones are breaking my head. So ignoring the fact that this top does not go with this skirt, this is the fit of the skirt. And so that would be the length of the skirt there. And I think that's fine. It's not gonna be, hopefully not too short. Let's do that. What a, what a really good scientific method. Okay, let's say 39 centimeters, 40. Okay. okay, so that's the back of the pocket. Then we also need the front part of the pocket. 
and we need a piece to go here to cover up the inside part of the pocket. We can do that. We can do this. This is a lot. Oh my God, I'm getting overwhelmed. Think of this in the real fabric goes on top of the lining there. And that way the pockets aren't too bulky having all wool in there. Okay, good, good, good. We're nearly done with cutting out the pattern pieces, I think. So we're definitely doing a mop up. Ugh. I was about to say, we were definitely doing a mock-up of this one. And I just remembered that there's a split in the skirt. So there needs to be a seam there. So that front piece needs to be modified. Oh my God. Okay. Uh, let's just trace the back piece. Let's start with that. I'm getting crazy here. Let's go. Skirt back piece done. I'm going to cut all these out and then we're going to assess. Ah, I got blinded by the sun on the floor. I had in my head that this was a super simple pattern and it was just a circle skirt and it's gonna be super easy. We can knock this out in a day. Look how many pieces there are. Look at that. Skirt front right, skirt front left, skirt back, pocket lining, pocket facing, waistband. I'm now hoping a meter is enough to make that skirt. I am not going to be able to make a skirt and also a waistcoat. I don't know what I was thinking. Let's do a quick mock-up just to make sure it works and then let's go. Yeah, I had hoped that with the black wool fabric that there'd be enough left over that I could also make a cute little matching waistcoat later. Don't be deceived. Oh, all the way through. My thoughts are what I want to do is just ever so slightly bring this in. And also the split on her one is a little bit higher. So I'm going to make those minor changes and then we are cutting this out in the real fabric. I'm not going to bother doing another mock-up. Let's go make a skirt. Good morning. I once again put the dishwasher on this morning. I got distracted last night because I took Al for a walk and then my parents called. Tom and I were chatting and we were both very tired and then he made a very strong cocktail and so we were just both useless for the rest of the evening. But after doing that, I thought it would be a good idea to alter the patterns ready to go for this morning without actually checking any of those changes on the mock-up first. So I thought what we might do, just to be sure, I am going to just do those minor alterations to the skirt just to make sure I'm happy with how it's sitting before I do that and possibly ruin my very expensive wool fabric. So let's get started with that. The side seams are a little bit wobbly, I think because of just the way that I have done this. Other than that, I quite, excuse me. Thank you, Alfred. I quite like the shape of it. I forgot about the seam at the back. And so that's kind of like flipping out quite a bit. So, so I'll bring in that seam at the back a little bit as well. And then we're gonna do the real one. So let's go, we're so close, so close. Oh, but I only have to cut one. Oh my God, I only cut one of those. All right, let's start with the skirt back then. Um, hmm. uh, oh, I can't my brain do this. So as I have mentioned, this fabric is quite expensive. And so I was just trying to be as efficient as possible and it used all my brain power. Yes. Look at that. Look at all this leftover wool. Ha ha. I can definitely make a vest with that. Last one. I spat everywhere. Okay, now I have to figure out how to construct this. There has to be some overlocking at points in this. Uh, I'm just gonna get the overlocker out. We'll just start with that. Oh boy, that's heavy. Yes, it's cover as a pillowcase. Oh, it's the wrong color. Hang on, I need to go find my thread. Okay. Oh dear. I thought I had black overlocking thread. Oh, I'm gonna have to spend money. Is it possible? I'm so far away. It's too close. Okay, now I know that overlocking thread is supposed to be this kind of like cone shape, but could I not possibly just do it with regular thread spools? I just realized I didn't cut out all the waistband pieces, but this worked. Saved myself like a hundred bucks. It is surprisingly expensive considering you need to buy three of them. Let's start with the waistband. Yeah, waistband done. So I'm gonna stitch down here to join up the front of the skirt pieces. And we're also gonna get these pocket lining in. So yes, good. And then with these ones, wait, that doesn't, that's not how it works. This way, no, like that, pocket facings. You can't even see it, it's, it's all black, Never mind. I have no idea what I'm doing. After much brain work, I think I have figured out how these pockets work. 
that's the front of the pocket slash front of the skirt. Lining piece, that's got the nice bit of fabric on it, gets placed over the top there. And I'm going to stitch along this. This edge here will get caught into the side seam. This part becomes the side seam there. And then the top edge gets caught into the waistband. Does that make sense? I think it makes sense. Also, I'm gonna have hot dogs for lunch, I think. Not that you asked. Ax? Not that you asked. Got mocked for that when I was a child. Axed. On second thought, no one needs to see this. Oh, nuts! Bobbin time. Let's try that again. Wow, I'm really bad at doing curves with overlocking. Jesus. I think I just said Jesus. Kind of want to draw Jesus now. And I'm sorry I did that. That's for me. All right, stitching. There. Skirt, waistband. I don't know why I was very into doing the transitions this video, even though I'm arguably very bad at clicking my fingers. Oh yes, I should explain what I'm doing here, not that I've explained my sewing at any other point in the video, but no time like the present, right? I sewed one centimeter guideline so that I knew where to fold the hem up because I find curved rolled hems to be damn near impossible. So the hem is all pinned and I know that I'm gonna have to hand sew the waistband part in and I know that this is not the smart thing to do, but I'm gonna hand sew the hem because I just think it looks better. I am in some ways a little bit too much of a perfectionist and in other ways I didn't pre-wash the fabric, so, and it's wool. So I am nothing if not inconsistent. I'm painfully aware that I haven't been funny. Oh, the, the iron's on, hang on. There we go. I don't know what jokes to make. Oh, I'll show you a joke, here we go. Remember how I said we'd started packing? Thomas has started packing. So as you can see, the wall behind me, no more pictures. Here's my room. Whoops. Uh... So I'm the joke. You're welcome. All right, I'll see you for hand sewing. It's, I'm doing it right now. I don't even need to sign off. Okay, now, hand sewing, now. Hand sewing is my absolute favorite part of any project. And for doing the hem like this, it's just trying to grab as little of the threads of the fabric as possible in each stitch. If you haven't seen him before, this is my Thomas cushion and I love him. It is the perfect hugging size. Like you put it on your lap and just like, I have had guests come over to the house and also do this. Cause it's just, I'm like, you can kind of like hold onto the ear. Like a little, hmm. I have done the blind hem on this one. Very happy with that. So now I've pinned this one in place and I have pinned the waistband in place. So I just need to hand stitch those and the skirt will be done. Other than that, all I need to do is the buttons and buttonholes on the vest. So I think in that case, I'll see you in the reveal. I hope. That's assuming I get everything done. Yeah, you might have noticed that I didn't tell you the results of the Instagram poll. Well, cookie buttons won by a lot and I did sew them on, but I just really didn't like it. And because I'm a goose, I took them off. Sorry.